everybody and welcome back to Fenton Forest Farm with me, see what he's so here on what is a another wonderfully rainy, damp, wet, horrible, miserable, annoyingly damp, wet, miserable day here on the farm. Right, let's have a look at things. I have made some changes. Oh yes, since the last episode. Um, I've got some oil seed radish planted on field one. I've got some sugar cane planted on field two. I've got poplars planted on field three. I've got cotton on field five. I've got nothing on field six, ten or nine. So they need to be seeded and planted. I have purchased field 11, which currently has cotton on it, which uh, does sadly require harvesting, which I'm pretty sure I can't do in the rain. And also field four, which is um, got wheat on it, which requires harvesting, but I can't do it in the rain. Now, the reason I've bought these two fields is because, as you can see, it could be possible to join these fields together and make one super duper awesome uber amazing field. There's also obviously some trees in the middle I would have to take out, but I've got a scorpion king. So I can do that and field 10 here. Also could be merged and joined into field 11 to make another big super duper awesome uber field. Um, again, wants to take out some trees in the middle, which I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna make two super duper awesome uber fields. However, today's weather forecast is kind of a uh, scuppered my plans a bit because obviously I can't harvest in the rain so what I'm going to do I'm going to do the next best thing I'm going to go and get and what I'm going to decided to do on the other fields at the minute because I'm kind of looking to do some logging and that which fits the bill if I do plan to make those super duper awesome uber fields and that's probably going to be the catchphrase of today's video the super duper awesome uber field <laughs> You may get annoyed with me saying super duper awesome uber fields by the end of the episode. I'm going to have to buy some seed. So what I plan to do on all the other fields, like 9, 10, etc, etc, etc. I'm just going to plant radish, oil seed radish for the time being. Get a cover crop in. and uh, Which we can then cultivate in later on. Which will give us maximum fertilization on our fields and enable us to do all the good stuff I've got to buy some seed of course because i don't own any i keep forgetting i've got to buy a trailer load of seed just to whack in that silo and then i can always just refill quite quickly and easily so i'm going to take the t8 give the t8 a spin i'm going to give the uh, 8r and 7r a rest a bit of a rest I'm also going to get the, because it's Thursday, it's Thursday morning in game, I'm going to get the um, the man truck there off on its uh, adventures. I'm going to get it doing the um, <coughs> slurry up to the BGA um, task for me. Get it doing the slurry. And then um, that will pay out at midnight, which will give me my first, obviously, Friday sale day payment and then I've also got to get the wheel loader at the BJ to start shoveling that silage <clears throat> that two million litres that we've got there into the uh, BJ so we can get paid out for that as well we get all the digestate in the world digestate for days I think I'll start over here on field 10. So I'm going to do oil seed radishes. Seeding and fertilizing, we've got 15 meters. I like the, f what I've been doing with these is making them half or nearly half width. And it does seem to work a lot better two passes and then they do three passes actually 
And they do spiral. And you can start at the first waypoint. I think that works. He's going to do radish, he's going to fertilize. I think this field's already fertilized, so it doesn't really make much of a difference. So you can leave that guy doing that, which of course is Helper Fear. Hello, Helper Fear. Please try to do a good job on the farm. Don't miss any bits if you can help it. And I'll see you a little bit later on when you're finished. Right. So the Scorpion King is here, ready. So I figure I might as well have a drive. I've still got all the logs, by the way, over on uh, over here. On between field three, three and five, I still haven't got a log trailer sorted out yet. Still not 100% decided on where to go with that. Um, what route, what road to go down, what works best for picking up logs. I have gone round with the 7R and the Brooks and got rid of the tree stumps that were left behind. I did that off camera. And I also remembered as well to have do me little tweaks to the 7R and 8R. So they are a little bit, they have a little bit more power, engine power, than they used to have. Especially the 7R, because that was a bit weak. That was only 50 horsepower more powerful than the um, 6R. Which I felt was really rather pathetic. So this is field 4, I newly purchased field 4. Which obviously has the wheat on it that I can't harvest because it's raining. And a whole bunch of trees. But what I shall probably do anyway, I shall probably resize it a bit anyway. Much like I did with field 6, I'll probably come round and do a... Uh, bit of a headland a couple of trees maybe to take out a couple of these big pines which are a little bit too close but yeah basically all these ones look between here and field field six they're gonna go these fields are gonna go these trees are gonna go get these logged which would be quite nice then like I say, I can merge the field into the big super duper awesome Uber. Slipping that in. So yeah, I'm gonna get oil seed radish spread on that field at some point. I uh, don't need that at the minute. I uh, don't need that at the minute. I've nearly got another full tank of slurry here. Get that picked up. I so say we'll get this guy doing the runs up to the um, the BGA today because I've got uh, what have we got? Three hundred eighty thousand liters sitting in the silo currently. How many? How much have we got sitting with the cows? Twenty-two thousand. So actually, what I'll do is I'll quickly empty the cows as well into here because <coughs> that's like forty-four. An extra 44,000 litres. Oh, I also need to get that manure pit empty because it's starting to tip up that conveyor. And I don't want to have any issues with that, so I might get one of the big trucks down here with that in a minute. As I say, I'd love for it to stop raining, really. Because <clears throat> I'd certainly like to get that cotton harvested because that is going to be big money for me over on field 11 whatever number it is and like I'm not too worried about if the wheat withers because obviously wheat is wheat it's cheap as chips it's cheap as chips and I've just had chips for my tea on this Sunday evening here as I recall this I've just had chip shop chips with curry sauce and a lovely chicken breast which goes nicely with the chip shop chips and chicken tikka and naan I had last night that's two nights in a row I've been to the chip shop people say that's very unhealthy but I'm gonna be like hey my life I live it how I like. Anyway, it's my birthday this weekend. If I can't, you know, throw the rule book out the window and have one weekend off the diet, you know, say screw the diet for one weekend, when can you? It's not like I eat birthday cake and stuff like that. So, 
one weekend of the year where I just go, screw it, I'm going to have takeaway. <laughs> That's probably why I need to get some farming done today to lose some of these calories, burn off some of these calories I've induced. Right. So what we can do now then? This guy's going to need to go on to... Uh, he's on the right course. Uh, Press slurry to BGA. I still haven't fixed this course, by the way. I know. Which means I'm going to have to tell this guy every time. To, um, empty to continue when he reaches the uh, tip point. That's not that too difficult to do. Right, there's the 7R. My lovely 7R. Which is now rocking... 452 horsepower for a fully maxed out 7R, which I don't think is too bad to have 150 horsepower more than a fully maxed out 6R. And that also means the 8R rocks in at 617 horsepower now as a fully maxed out 7R. Or at least I think they're fully maxed out 7Rs. Let me just check. Where's your, where's your 7R, Stevie? You're down here somewhere. Yeah, 452, which is quite handy. Although, it still seems to suffer a little bit, this does. It still doesn't strike me as being a large tractor. Because what I did notice off-camera was when I hooked the 7R up to the Great Plain Cedar over here. In actual fact, I'll try it again now. Make sure it wasn't just a glitch with the game. But if I pick, I, when I pick this Cedar up with the 7R, the 7R's rear wheels are off the ground. show you because I was going to plant with this because obviously we, we, this hasn't got a lot of engine hours on it yet compared to say like the 8R which has already got you know well into double figures in terms of engine wear and usage yeah watch this I reverse up to this look alright attach That look, that to me is a bit broken. And it continues to slide about, look. So I can't, I can't seed with the 7R. Unless I drop down to the, using either the Condor or the Vaderstad. That's quite, that's quite poor, isn't it? A large tractor can't use. I reckon this is this is in the wrong. I I certainly I think this is in the wrong category. I don't think the seven R is a large tractor. I think it's more. I think the six M should probably be reclassified as a small tractor. The six R and the seven R should then be classified as medium tractors. In the grand scheme of things. Um, right, I was going to empty that manure as well, wasn't I, I said. So i best go grab this truck. Because there's going to be a lot in that pig tank. So much so, I may actually have a run up to the uh, BGA with a full tank load of uh, manure. To get an additional amount sold. Then the man has to be told to continue driving. Oh, you awkward piece of crap. He's done that on purpose, that has. I should have emptied this sooner. Should have 
emptied that sooner. Come on. What it will, however, do for me is um, it will empty the entire silo. Without me having to move this too much. And I can't lift that up any higher. Now I've broke it. Because I've reversed it up onto the top of the uh, truck. There we go. I want to keep it somewhere. Right, we've got a bit of clearance. Truck's going to get full. Hmm. Anyway, that's enough. We'll take that up to the BGA. Uh, before I do that, though. Let's just find him and tell him to continue. And then we will carry on. So yeah, I'll take this 120,000 litres of manure up to the... Uh, BGA. That'll make us a foo bob. Especially with the 380 odd thousand litres of slurry that it's about to receive today. Come on. Oh, lamp post. Yeah, just put the squeeze on him. truck oh this thing's got a bit of a snake on at speed do not drive it at 104 kilometers an hour and dude seriously you pulling out frightening behavior of the ai frightening behavior right while i'm up here now i've driven all the way up here i'll sell this and then i'll park this truck up and then i'll quickly hop in the uh, I can hop into the uh, loader, can't I? <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Sneezing, coughing. The little counter's counting up the litres lot, although it's processing it incredibly quick. Evie's BGA. You ain't got to sit there waiting all day for it to just slowly work its way through all the uh, stuff. Right. JCB loader. So, two million litres of the silage stuff. <laughs> oh dear. This is going to take me all freaking day. Advantage. Yeah. 
man truck not being here for a minute. Wow, it takes a long time for the bucket to empty. Raining. It's pouring. The old man is snoring. He went to bed. He bumped his head. He couldn't get up in the morning. Yogi. I've kind of done go go done go 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 goofed. Oh my god, pick that up there. How am I going to do that? That spillage just spillage I'm gonna have to contend with now because I've done done gone goofed up. <laughs> it's gonna take me a long while to empty this with this one bucket. Oh, and here comes the M-A-N. Wait for this guy. Good day, sir. You unload. I'll just stand there, get wet for a bit. Shall I? How about I tell you to continue in a second so you're out of the road? Yeah, matey's hair. Yeah. Goodbye. and scoop that little bit up if I can even if it means I have to drive onto this flipping platform it just looks untidy there but the T8's reached its trigger endpoint have a quick look on that, shall we? It seems to have. Uh, run around and manually do some corner work. Shall we have a go? You're not going to let me pick that up. You scumbag gang. Alright. You're not going to let me pick that up. Fair enough. I'll just have to live with that being there.
the Miyagi. This is going to take forever to empty this silo. Two million litres of silage in these silos. It needs to be shifted. Well, so if I had a conveyor belt here, I could probably unload some into the truck. Can I? Which might make things a little bit easier. Back in a minute, I'm gonna go shift the um, the T8. So you can stop there, stop driver. Quick look round. Looks like he's done all the bits. Oh, he hasn't done the corners. That's a bit poor, man. You go and have a look at that. I can't. I can't be doing. You're not doing corners, mate. Uh, that's a bit half-assed. That is. You're not doing the corners. You can see where I had the pot plants planted, can't you? Because they're two-stage fertilised. They're extra fertilisation. They are. <laughs> so it hasn't fertilised the bits where I had the, the pot plants planted. There's my poplar bale as well. The one I forgot. <laughs> I'm going to have to come and get that at some point too. Pick that up, shift it, take it down, chuck it in the heating plant. Oh, it's crazy. Crazy weather today. It rains probably two or three times a week, I noticed on this map. How Stevie's got the weather set up. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's nice. It's a much improvement over the Giants maps where it never rains. But it does get always seem to strike me that it rains when I don't need it to, when I've got harvesting and stuff to do. Right, we'll shift you over here now. You can do this big field with oil seed radish too. Why not? Hey, eh? why not? Why not make me useful? Build nine. I'm going to get, let you do four passes this time. Nearly already in the starting point. So off you go. Right, Scorpion King's there as well. He's nearly unloaded. Works out well for me then, because then I can tell him to uh, get on his bike. Well, I'm ready to carry on doing me low loading with me wheel loader. Didn't really need to revert drive on here, but BJ's processing it faster than I can tip it, apparently. Oh, 
people looking on the fields anyway. Is anything spoiled yet? That's no. I'll tell you what, it's getting pretty critical over field four and field 11. Although, the, technically, field four has got one harvest stage left to go, whereas field 11 could could be borderline. Some of it may wither before I can cotton pick it. drive up the wall. What about the buckets and that? Never quite get 100% fully full. They never quite, unless you're filling them from the silo. Then they get fully full. If we're going to get any respite from this weather today, the forecast hasn't really changed, has it? Looks like it's going to rain all day. Means I'm going to be stuck carrying on doing this then. I also wanted to mow the grass, get some hay, do some bales with that new baler, and then get them sold. But I'm not going to mow the grass in the rain. Well, you can't make hay in the rain, can you? Because you need it to, to be dry. You need the grass to be dry. Stop me making hay bales. Probably should have invested in another conveyor belt, really, for up here. Could have emptied it a bit quicker. Is the man truck coming back anytime soon? As if he is, I may want to abandon unloading. Oh! I didn't realise the bucket could do that. I thought it was a bit strange that you can't get the uh, bucket horizontal. God, it empties a lot quicker when you do that, doesn't it? <laughs> Duh! All this time I've been playing. Farming sim, and I never realised you could do that with the buckets. Oh, we've got a full under sixty four thousand litres for a change. I'm doing a tango with an Eskimo.
Hands back. Let me hop on board a second, just so I can tell you to clear off in a minute, Parker. When you've finished unloading your next... Uh... Good. Goodbye, Parker. Carry on. Doing an excellent job, Parker. I should still feel a lot empty a lot quicker than it is doing when it's basically tipped like that it should just go shouldn't it and be instant empty because that silage can't defy gravity It's emptied. Stop for me lunch in a minute. It's nearly lunch time. Mr. Miyagi's probably got a nice ploughman's lined up. And the only way to empty this bunker quicker would be A with a conveyor into a truck or with the um, mixing wagon. I think mixing wagon's how we did it last time, wasn't it? I had a load of silage in these clamps. So. Four thousand litres. Binga banga bongo. Much better. Much, much, much better. Love a good JCB wheel loader. Fantastic bits of kit these are, in real life. I should know, I've made the hydraulic valves for them. I need to turn around a bit. I wonder if the man will be back soon. So there won't be a lot of digestate to take back to the farm. There's going to be two million litres just from this.
definitely gonna have to put some through the heating plant. I'll probably also treat myself to a new um, slurry spreader as well. Now Stevie's done the um, the Samson one in his mod pack six, I might invest in one of those because that is that's quite an upgrade over the one I've currently got in terms of capacity and um, also the um, actual spreading width of the digest date and the um, okay whoa I'm going pulling stunts like that, Mr. Miyagi. You know what? You've made it this far. Let's drive forward, son. Come on. And go around the end. The man's back! Let me just send Parker on his way. Oh, I'm only knocking my cow call over my desk. Continue. So I'm just going to carry on doing this all day. There's probably not else I can do. Because this rain don't look like it's going anywhere anytime soon to allow me to get to harvesting. So um, I'll carry on, do these silos for a bit, and then I'll call you guys back a bit later on in the day. Just to do a final closing out bit and see where we are. Well, we finally got the bunkers emptied. <laughs> I ended up, I had to re reluctantly, in the end, invest in a uh, conveyor belt. Because otherwise this was going to take forever. But we've got it emptied. That's the main thing. And I will then hop across in a second. Oh, hello. He's managed to scoop up that bit that I couldn't scoop up before. Excellent stuff. Right, that's the silos emptied then. Oh, we'll pull this guy down here somewhere. Put the low wheel loader back. I got the first empty, the big, big bulky, um, big silo pit here emptied with the wheel loader but I was like mm, yeah, I'm not going to do that for the second and third ones I will I'll, I'll spend the 30 grand get myself a conveyor belt <laughs> make life a lot easier for me right and grab the truck which is down here tip out the last 28,000 litres of silage Two million litres of silage delivered to the BGA today. The man truck is still running backwards and forwards doing the... Uh, doing the uh, slurry. Uh, T8's finished seeding apparently over on field 9, so I'll just go around and check on that in a second. Make sure he's done all the corners. And then... Um, the rain hasn't lifted yet. It's going to get cloudy, apparently, when the rain stops. But at this point in time, I'm still not able to get any harvesting done. So the cotton and the wheat are uh, possibly going to fail. They're probably going to wither. In which case, it will just be plough the fields. Here's Mr. Man Truck with his next batch. I'm not sure how much we've actually... I'm going to have a cut through here. <laughs> I 
the radish has grown quite nicely over on that field. That'll be there ready to plough in, cultivate in or whatever you do with it when it comes time. Plant something else on there. Oh, the lead truck. You should face the other way then. You should be lined up right in here. There. Look then, T8. He's apparently done. Just back him up. Sure he is. <laughs> that this guy's missed corners. Because he's usually pretty good on this field. I think it's mainly field nine, because um field ten, sorry, because that's got some very sharp. Abrasive corners, hasn't it? One odd bale. I'm going to come up here and pick up one odd bale of poplar trees. Planted. 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 Yeah, he's done a good job on this field. The corners aren't quite as severe because they aren't like 90 degree corners. He won't have the same problem on these fields as he has done on others. Going to have to bring him back to the farm to top him up with fertiliser before I can go back and do field six. It's probably not going to happen now today. Probably too late for field six, I think. Still got plenty of seed, though. Radishes don't use a lot of seed. I'm going to overtake you, Mr. Cement Mixer, because you're a bit slow. Only more with fertilizer, and then he's ready to go again tomorrow. No more space for wool uh, sheep. Alright, we'll have to uh, get that corrected too, won't we? I believe the rain hasn't let up all day. Right. Be lined up. Push.
Right. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sixteen pallets of wool to get rid of on Friday sale day tomorrow. We've got a couple of pallets of eggs as well to get rid of. We're obviously going to get paid out quite handsomely for the uh, BGA if this guy continues. Um, like I say, then we need to get up and do... Field 11 and field 4. Hmm. Which means I'm going to need the cotton harvester, aren't I? Up on field 11. It's a long run. Long jog down here to this thing. Got my sugar canes planted. They're growing. They're on a... 48-hour... Growth cycle. So they'll only advance a growing stage every 48 hours. The poplars are now on 72 hours for growth cycle change. So it takes four days for them to change growth state. So to reach harvest stage, it's going to take nearly two weeks. <laughs> Up to field 11 then, with this thing. And then that'll probably be it for today. I'll just park him up ready and then hopefully, like I say, it's going to be a, a better day tomorrow. get these two fields harvested and then I can start looking at taking down trees and all that rigmarole there's a lot of trees that are going to come down around I have to come down around the like that one and a few of these before I can put in the fancy headlands all these like fir trees are going to have to come out It's not a lake. A little jetty. We'll do some fishing. Reach. That's finished grain transport. Okay, so he hasn't got enough slurry left then. Okay, he's emptied the slurry pit, has he? Has he? There's still 10,000 litres left yet, mate. A little shed here, a little vehicle workshop on this bit of land. And a sh Stevie shed. Three passes clockwise. Spiral. Generate clock. I don't know if this can cotton pick in the rain or not. Probably tell me that it can't. Yeah, can't. It won't even let me do cotton. Scumbag. I don't need to be able to tab into that. So we'll park that for now. Park you. Right, that's it then. That's as much as I can do today. The rain has it's not stayed, mainly on the plane. So, 
can't get on and do any more field work. Hmm. So, that's it. Thank you for watching today's episode of Fenton Forest Farm. When I return in the next video, it'll obviously be Friday, which means there'll be some sale day shenanigans going on, as well as hopefully a change in the weather, which will enable me to get that cotton harvested and that wheat. Uh, our greenhouses and everything are all okay. I'm not going to worry too much about them going forward. Um, and then, as I say, we just need to get, wait for these other things to uh, grow. So, obviously sugarcane can't wait to see the first harvest of the sugarcane and do that there's going to be a big harvest of sugarcane as well on this field i imagine as well as our poplars down on field three so anyway if you have enjoyed the video please go ahead click that like button for me you know the drill by now if you've got any questions comments suggestions or feedback please go ahead drop them in the comment section down below and of course if you're new to the channel Make sure you go ahead and press that subscribe button. That way you show some support to me for creating the content. You show support to the channel to help it grow. And also you get to be notified then whenever new videos get uploaded to the channel. So you don't miss a video. But as I say, on this wet and drizzly, dreary day, I'm going to dry off now. So from Fenton Forest Farm and myself, see what he's saying. It's goodbye for now.